In this tutorial, I'm going to showcase the simplest and most complete method that I've seen for SQL Server Dark Mode in 2023. Now, this is particularly useful, obviously, or only useful when using SQL Server Management Studio. Now, I previously created a video with around 25,000 views to date that showcases the current method, but it's quite hacky. Um, I will leave a link to it, but it involves playing around with a lot of files, and you're still not left with a complete solution because the object explorer isn't completely dark, and there's other little intricacies that really just lead it to being a bit of a hack and quite half-baked. So now I've come across this brilliant extension, SQL Shades, that does exactly what it says in the tin. A real dark mode for SQL Server Management Studio. Everything is covered, all elements of SSMS. This is the developer here, um, done a fantastic job. So if you do fancy supporting, you can see on the website there's ways to do that. But in reality, the download is just a simple job of downloading an executable file, accepting some conditions and automatically you have this complete experience that takes SSMS into a more serious uh, workspace environment with the introduction of dark mode. So what you can do is click the download button, you will be using Windows if you're using SQL Server, and then you can just agree to the license terms. When you click that, you can simply go through, hit install, it won't take long at all to get those, those files on your system, and from there, will actually be in a position just to go ahead and open SQL Server Management Studio. And all that requires now is a simple open of the, the application and everything should be in place. So I've downloaded the executable, I've accepted the terms, everything looks good from that side. Now all there is to do is open the application. So I've got SQL Server Management Studio in my taskbar. You may have it held wherever else in your computer that's convenient. But when you load this up, you'll get the usual splash screen as we're opening up SSMS. And as you can see, without any further configuration, we just have the dark mode automatically enabled. So we can see that button um, for SQL Shades there. I'll open up a new query just to show you that the query window is also present with the dark mode. So I can run a quick test by just introducing a test result that I will name test with, within my select statement. So I'll select test, uh, the string as test, so alias it there in the results. And when we execute that very simple query, we'll see that this is also covered within the, the results output. Other areas, uh, previously with the method that I showcased before with the sort of hack, um, it didn't cover the object explorer. So here where we're expanding databases, tables and things, this is completely covered within SQL Shades. So that's fantastic. That's an improvement already. And it's already a lot faster, simpler process than having to go through all of our file storage and modify lines of files. Now also, if you click on the SQL Shades button, you can see there are other options um, that you can play around with. Uh, we're able to check for updates. We can slightly modify the range that the dark mode covers as well. Uh, look into logs. Uh, I guess if we want to communicate with the developer for any bugs as well. And we can close that down by clicking OK. So it's fantastic to see a simple and professional implementation of dark mode in SSMS. Feel free to check it out and play around with it yourself.